is a good clip, 10 days old, but it's worth playing. Like, it, you know, just like how easy it was for this country to cut child poverty by 35, 40%. Um, we have the ability to basically eradicate homelessness in this country. You can't get it to, uh, totally, but, uh, and here is, um, I just, I just love a guy with a, with a, with a good uh, Massachusetts accent actually saying something that is uh, empathetic and, <laughs> and, and, um, and, and kind, actually. It's like when a metal band does a soft song. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. right. Like, <laughs> I just associate this accent. I just associate this accent with like, what are you looking at, dude? Hey, dude. Did you just MTV why did you unplug for mass holes? <laughs> walk around, all right. If you want to drink, walk around hey, me. Don't go, go rub against my my chest. Um, but here is uh, Revere City Councilor Mark Silvestri. They uh, this was you know when there was that uh, cold snap. Uh, Mass in Boston, it gets you know colder than New York City by far. Um, and often there are, uh, you know, they're in like an extension of a snow belt. Um, and this is a there's a a local senior city, uh, a senior center was being used as a warming station just temporarily and only when it starts getting dark, like basically after the senior center was closed. And he tries to show patience with this woman who clearly has an issue with uh, unhoused people. And, uh, and then he, you know, by the end, he just, he, he can't contain himself. Councilor, uh, Councilor Silvestri. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you, Lauren, for coming up. And, and um, I, I have to say, I commend you, Mr. Mayor. And in, in the staff and, and, and for making this happen. And, um, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I, I had the privilege of working on the emergency response team during COVID. And um, I, I was one that worked with a lot of our homeless population. They're not all bad people. They want a place to stay warm. They want a place to stay alive. And that's what we're looking at. We're not looking to keep any, ma'am, thank you. December 22nd, Buffalo, New York, one night, 43 people dead in the snow. Texas, two days later, 45 people dead in the snow. Wait, uh, um, I, I promise you, I promise, I'm, I'm giving you my word, ma'am. Just like I went into the encampments in the city and made sure, you know what? When you give them people this much and they, you show them your little respect, do you know what they do? They clean, they help, they wanna be, they want a place to be warm and that's it. They don't wanna bother anyone. They don't wanna ruin anything. Ma'am, we're not closing the senior center for this to happen. Once the senior center closes, they come in. Before it even opens, they're gone. Forget about the senior. Why? We're not gonna be Why are we forgetting, counselor, forgetting about you? Counselor, counselor. No, 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 Ms. no, 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 no Mr. President. No, no, no. I, I can't because you want to know what? We're talking about people's lives here. And you know what? If I have to lose some votes to save some lives, then I will do so. Thank because you, you want to know what? People are going to die in the street. And if you're going to look at them in the face and say you're okay with that, then be so. But you know what? I'm not. I'm not okay with burying people because it's 15 degrees okay. out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Pat. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it just the, uh, you know, and this guy's just looking for like the, like the very, very just basic. Can we just, we don't have to pro, we don't, you know, he's not asking like that we actually house these people. He's not asking that like, they provide any services uh, mm. to unhoused. It's just like, oh, can we just at least keep them alive? Yeah. Well, we, we played a clip uh, last Thursday, Sam, of a gallery owner. You might have seen that make the rounds in San Francisco during a cold front spraying a home, uh, an unhoused woman with a hose. Yep. Um, and then uh, reporters followed up with him and he said, I'd do it again. Like we 
have a mass psychosis in this country aided and abetted by a media that sensationalizes crime and by extension homelessness where th there there are many many people in this country who see unhoused people as less than human and the subtext of what that person yelling in the crowd is saying is that i'd rather die or i'd rather them die than have any kind of mitigation or humane humanity embedded into public policy in the city yeah you can you, you, the uh they can't elaborate it but when the guy says 45 people died in buffalo there's a lot of people that are like fine good that's exactly what the, i mean they they shouldn't be on the streets right yeah they should have uh, you know taken care of themselves not put themselves in that position is how they feel and they have it coming and it's it's murderous and it's <laughs> it's I mean, it's. I, I think it's probably always been here, but it just seems like it's becoming more and more um, pronounced. Yeah, and it's a vicious cycle too, right? Because you cut services, and then the problem gets. You know, uh, people see it and they say, like, "Oh, we can't go anywhere without uh, you know a homeless person sleeping on the bench or something like that." And 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 it it just is a self perpetuating sort of uh, feedback loop. Yeah. Um, and it also was a consequence of making our urban centers like playgrounds for a certain class of people as opposed to livable areas for it, it, all kinds of people. It's wild sometimes. Like I still not over like walking uh, through Manhattan sometimes and seeing all these like giant uh, closed bank lobbies closed after 8 p.m. But they're giant empty <laughs> things and then homeless people um, just surrounding mm -hmm. it. I'm um, trying to sleep above vents, um, subway vents for heating. Cashless coffee shops. What's that for? Yeah, exactly. It's because there's just no public space in the, in this country anymore. Yeah. We, like every single acre of space except for essentially libraries and homeless shelters has been gobbled up to make it so that people cannot literally sit somewhere. And this is not to absolve these like small business owners of their resentment uh, because it's disgusting. But at the same time that it, it's it's amplified, the privatization's it's the amplified problem. by yeah. the privatization. Yeah. yeah.